room full of people who don't recognize us I reach out for you and call out your name Bonjour mes amis, it's Curly Guy here and I am b -b 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 back with another product review. So this line is by Kiss Colors and this is their Argonne and Macadamia line. So what I'm first going in with is the shampoo. Now this line also comes with a co-wash but I'm obviously not using the co-wash because I mean I have a lot of build up. Um, I've been using castor oil and stuff lately to help with my hair growth so I needed something that was going to get that out. Um, and this shampoo smelled really good. It also was not supposed to contain sulfates or silicones or any of that bad stuff. But this shampoo definitely stripped my hair down. And I needed it, but it definitely did strip my hair down. It felt good while I was shampooing. It had a nice lather on it. But once I rinsed my hair, it definitely felt a little bit stripped. So that's just a heads up for you guys who aren't big on that. I want my shampoo to clarify, but to each their own. Next, I went in with the matching conditioner. Now, the conditioner didn't wow me. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. The conditioner did not wow me. Um, it had a very lotion-y feel. It was not thick at all. Um, and initially, I thought this may be a good thing because I thought it would have like a lot, a lot of slip to it. But it didn't have a whole bunch of slip, which, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Usually, when I use a conditioner, if I'm going to use a deep conditioner too, I like to use the conditioner to detangle my hair. Um, but... It didn't feel like it had to slip, so I didn't really even bother. I tried to do a little bit of finger detangling, and that wasn't working out too well, so I didn't even, you know, really bother with it too much. I just decided to wait till I moved to the deep conditioner in hopes that that would, you know, be a little bit more slippery and allow me to detangle my hair a little bit better. But this did feel like it was absorbing in my hair. It just had a very, very weird texture to it, a very weird feel. But anyway... Moving on, I then went in with their deep conditioner. Now, this deep conditioner did wow me. This is where things started looking up. It was thick like I'm used to. I definitely enjoyed the texture and the consistency of it. And as you guys can see, it's melting into my hair. You can see that I'm pretty pleased with the way it felt. And immediately, I could tell that this had way more slip than the conditioner. As you can see here, I was just seeing if the product was going in my hair or if it was just sitting on top. But I'm easily able to finger detangle my hair, as you guys can see me doing here. Um, now, will I say that this had the most slip ever? No, I've definitely used deep conditioners, conditioners that had more slip. But this had way more slip than the leaving, I mean, than the rinse out conditioner. So if I had a tip to give you guys, I would recommend that you wait to this um, portion to go ahead and detangle instead of trying to detangle with the regular rinse out conditioner. And you guys see I'm using my favorite detangling brush and if the tangle teaser can't do it, it can't be done. Um, so I stand by that. But anyway, I just twisted my hair up in some twists and then let it sit for the remainder of my shower and now I've rinsed that out. And my hair did feel good. My hair looks shiny as you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and with the leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner kind of reminded me of a leave-in that I really enjoy by Shea Moisture. Um, <clears throat> I think it's called the Extra Moisture Detangler. It felt similar to the consistency, however, it was not as moisturizing as the Shea Moisture one, but I didn't mind it. As you can see, my hair does look moisturized um, and it is shiny and my curls are pretty defined for it just to have a leave-in in, so I wasn't too mad at it. So that's just how I felt about that. And I just did that to the other side and moving on. Hey guys, so I'm fresh out the shower and I've already installed my braids. All I did was use the melanin hair care cream. Um, you guys know I like to use that um, to seal my hair in and this is the colder month. So it definitely works well for that. The last thing I'm going to do <coughs> um, is go ahead and take the edge tamer which I've already used this and I have to say guys, this is probably my favorite product out of the entire line. No cap. Um, I do also like the Argon um, Serum and I'm gonna straighten my hair I believe one more time next year, um, January of course for my birthday. I think I'll be straightening my hair and I would like to see how this works on my hair. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this product. They also sent me the Red by Kiss Little Edge Brush so I'm gonna go ahead and use that because I've been wanting one of these little brushes and I just always forget to pick them up at the beauty supply store. Now one thing that I did learn 
One thing I definitely learned about this uh, edge control, or pretty much I think any edge control, but namely this one, for it to work best for me, is for my hair to not be soaking wet. So my edges are maybe 50% dry at this point, and it just works better for me to take just the teeniest amount, you guys. It does not take much of this stuff, and you guys are gonna see this magically swoop my hair. And as I said, this works better on dry hair actually. The drier your hair is, the better this stuff works. But it is working pretty well now as well. But this, I love this because I don't even have to tie it down. All I have to do is put it on there and I'm good to go. Like it literally just gets my hair right together. I'm just gonna pull out a little baby hair right here. Use that excess to slick that down you guys and that is it like this stuff works so good like the edge control is definitely my favorite product from the line and that's just my edge to slick down i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my pat scale of course um and since this is the entire line you know per usual i go ahead and rate it for the whole line um as well so um starting off with performance I'm going to say the products perform really well together. Um, would I use this line together? Probably not because I find that a lot of times I don't use the entire line of a product together. Um, I don't know what that is, but often I don't do that. Um, but they did work well together. Now what I will say individually is the shampoo is so fake free, it's supposed to be so fake free, but it definitely cleansed my hair, which I'm not mad at because it had been a while since I washed my hair, but it definitely stripped my hair, you guys. My hair felt clean, which I wanted, but it definitely also felt stripped. Um, the conditioner did not do the best job at rehydrating my hair. However, my hair was moisturized once I followed up with the deep conditioner. Also, this wasn't my first time using the um, conditioner, so what I did learn is if you wait till you apply the deep conditioner to detangle, you'll get twice as much slip. So that's just a little point for you guys if you want to go out and try these products. And these products are priced very, very well. Um, but I did enjoy the slip on that. Um, so that's the performance. As far as the accessibility, um, I think they sell these products in some stores, but I know you can get it on Kiss's website, of course. Um, and I'm not sure what stores you can find this in, but let me look. Yeah, so I'm not pulling up that you can find it in any stores yet, so just hold up on that. But I know you can find it on houseofbeauty.com and on to uh, the price. Now these products are all priced very well. I think the most expensive product is around $10 and that's the deep conditioner. So I think the most expensive is five, uh, $10 um, around that price. But I do know these prices, these products are in between $5 and $10. Um, so that's the price. And as far as the smell, now these products smell amazing you guys. Especially the edge control. The edge control smells the most like that. Argon sweet. It has a very, very sweet smell to it, like candy. So I really do enjoy that. And as you can see, my edges are laid and stayed in place. And they will not move all day. So that's pretty much that. This is going to, of course, be a braid out. But I won't take this out for several days. I like to keep my hair protected when it's really, really cold outside. You guys know I was just in New York, so it was freezing. So my hair was definitely dehydrated. But overall, I will say these products did put the moisture back in my hair. What products would I recommend to you all? I would definitely recommend you, um, if you were going to buy some of these products, to get the edge control and also the deep conditioner. These are the two that I would definitely recommend out of the entire line. They're the ones that I enjoyed the most. And if I had to rate this line all together, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. Reason being is because I wasn't super, super wild. Um by the brand as a collective but I did enjoy a select few of the products as well as the prices for me were a big thing that gave it an extra few points and the smell of course smelled really really good so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up because believe it or not that really does help me out a lot um and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and just remember guys if you can't keep it curly or protect it <laughs> Keep it classy. Bye, guys. I'll see you in my next one.